time of refreshing. It's so good to have you with us on tonight. I want you to go ahead right now because this is going to be a quick one. I want you to go ahead right now and share the link. Get the word out. Call your friends. Text them. Call your family members. Let them know that there's a word from the Lord that's going to bless their life for the rest of their life. Let's go right into this. Hey, the praise and worship team, they're going to bless you. Ah, the praise and worship here at Living Waters, they just off the chain. Get ready. You're going to hear them speak speaking in some different language as they sing and I want to see who could interpret what they getting ready to sing tonight <laughs> that's what we do here at Living Waters Kingdom Ministry we believe that God is just using whoever he choose to use in this hour so let's go right into this time of refreshing and I'm excited about what's getting ready to happen tonight that you're standing next to you pray right now you in your home right now pray on your job right now pray you're tuning live go ahead right now pray pray throughout your house right now pray there's an anointing in this place right now pray pray okay so what we're going to talk about briefly 
We're going to talk about keeping and protecting your miracle. Keeping and protecting your miracle. Keeping and protecting your miracle. What is a miracle? A miracle is a supernatural occurrence. One time ago I used to say a supernatural occurrence that only God can give. But the devil can give you a miracle also. But a miracle is a supernatural occurrence. In this season, you're going to know the difference. You're going to know the difference between a, a door God open and a door Satan open. You're going to know the difference between a God sent friend and a devil sent friend. In this season, you're going to know the difference. So a miracle is a supernatural occurrence. Let's look at the next slide. In this season, like no other, God is going to give miracles. In this season, like no other, God is going to give miracles and supernatural breakthroughs. Oh, Jesus, you're clapping like Rima Preparatory Academy children. They do better than that. Why? Because people are looking to him now more than ever. Psalms 121 is going to be a reality. Glory to God. You in the 21, uh, 2021, is, uh, 21 denotes the cycle is broken. But 2021 also denotes that this is the season that you're going to look to God like you have never looked to him before. I will look to the hills for whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. And God said, uh, ever now, now more than ever, persons are looking to him. Because you realize that the government don't have your answer. The dean, they realize that the prime minister don't have the answer. The president of the United States of America don't have your answer. For some of you, your boss don't have your answer. Glory to God. And if COVID-19 really gets you, hallelujah, in the state that you are in ICU, the doctor don't have your answer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you want to grab a hold of that revelation that God is your source. And he is only working through people, glory to God, to bless you. And if you learn how to look to him, then you don't have to worry about arms of flesh failing you because you're trusting in God. He said, in this hour more than ever, they will look to me. And because you're looking to him, your miracle has to happen. It's a supernatural occurrence. Okay, y'all ain't gonna go with me. If I pass this mic around right now, some of you inboxing me, uh, what's up in me, texting me, sharing with me, some things that God is doing for you, blowing your mind. I'm talking about we call for a group to come up who is believing God, hallelujah, to finish their home or finish their complex that they've been working on for years and months and now God is supernaturally doing it. You can't be in this kind of atmosphere, glory to God, and do experience breakthroughs in your life. You can't be making this kind of sacrifice and God don't turn it around for you. I dare you to push the person, touch them to the left and right of you and say, God is setting you up in this season to bless you ridiculous ye. Uh oh my God. How do we, okay, let's look at this. John 5, John 5 and 14. Later Jesus found him. Who him? Jesus found this uh, young man who was at the pool. Read it up further in the text. He's at the pool and the Bible said at a certain time, the angel of the Lord come in and trouble the water. And now at this pool, Glory to God, there's lame people, paralyzed people, mean people. They're there at the pool and they're waiting for an angel to come from heaven and trouble the water. And the Bible said, whoever step in when the water is troubled, they will be healed from whatever disease that they had. 
Jesus shows up. This man is at the pool. He is laid out on a stretcher. And Jesus said to him, he said, what's going on with you, man? He said, man, Jesus, or he didn't even know his name. He said, every time I try to get in, somebody step in before me. Glory to God. Every time I try to get in, somebody stepped in before me. Jesus said, take up your bed and start walking. This is the man we're talking about. Hallelujah. He found himself in the temple on his way, going to the temple. The religious leaders of that day and those who were bound by a day and religiosity saw the man walking on the Sabbath and say, why are you walking on the Sabbath day? You don't know. You ain't supposed to be doing this on the Sabbath he said somebody I met a man who told me to take up my bed and walk and I started walking glory to God this is the man who is in the temple praising God and being questioned by the religious people and hallelujah later Jesus found him in the temple Sean I feel like preaching hallelujah glory to God and said to him see you are well again hallelujah stop sinning or something worse may happen to you glory to God can I say this to about 10 of y'all in here when God deliver you you better stay out glory to God hallelujah when God give you that miracle you better okay, okay. when God set you free when God take you out of sin he said, glory to God. He said, you better go now that you're well. He said, unless a worse thing come upon you. Don't go back sinning. Don't go back doing that foolishness unless a worse thing will come upon you. I remember a few years ago, and I shared in the wilderness this morning, a lady, hallelujah, who had full bloom AIDS. Full bloom AIDS. She was only flesh. Glory to God. Bones. Hallelujah. And one day I'm coming out of the wilderness. She used to walk to church. Hallelujah. And, and she would tote a bottle of water because she would get dehydrated. Sometimes she would walk and then she have to stop. Walk and then she have to stop. But she would make her way to church because she needed a miracle. Glory to God. One day I came up out of the wilderness driving through Mini Street. And glory to God. Holy Spirit says stop to the lady house. I stopped at a lady house pastor, uh, 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 pastor Fox and I kneel at the bed. Her daughter is in the kitchen and I came out. Her daughter came out. I'm kneeling at the bed and I'm praying. I lift my hands to heaven. I say, God, give a miracle. The angel of the Lord walked in. The presence of God showed up. She started crying. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Five days later. Hallelujah. Glory to God. She started eating again. Hallelujah. Another month. She started walking to church strong. No bottle of water in her hand she start to put her weight back on her face start to get fat hallelujah glory to God God begin to restore her body and restore her health he's a miracle worker he's the same yesterday today and forevermore glory to God I wish I could get somebody who dared to open their mouth and praise him she was well on her way serving God all of a sudden I see her stop coming to church glory to God and I wonder what was going on she gone back in the world glory to God I passed one day she is out on the porch and she is hanging with the same old people again six months later hallelujah we had to do her funeral service because when God deliver you you got to stay out I feel like preaching glory to God so how once God give me my breakthrough once God give me my miracle hallelujah glory to God how do I stay free the Bible says, who the sun set free is free indeed when God deliver you when God turn it around hallelujah you got to hold on to the thing you got to protect your miracle and you got to let that devil know he ain't going to take it from you and you're definitely not going back to lose it I need you to touch your neighbor and say a miracle is coming your way you touch the wrong neighbor talk down the road and say a miracle is coming your way someone who's tuning live a miracle is at your door open your mouth and bless him if you believe oh bless his name I don't know what's happening but today somebody's about to get a breakthrough hallelujah glory to God between now and the end of June your life will not be the same now how oh glory to God I feel like running I feel like flipping I feel like praising the Lord I 
dare you to jump on your feet. If you're in your kitchen, open your mouth and praise him. Turn around and say, I'm ready for my breakthrough. If he can heal AIDS, he can heal COVID. If he can heal COVID, he can heal sugar diabetes. If he can heal sugar diabetes, he can bring that blood pressure down. If he can heal your body, he can heal your marriage. If he can heal your marriage, he can deliver your son. I wish I could get somebody. He can break the outcome of your life. Shut up. to come get your friend Fox. I feel this anointing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, you believe in God for a miracle. I say to you, if you can do it, you don't need one. Hallelujah. But if your back is against the wall and you have already got the eviction notice and the man already in the court say he ain't want to have nothing to do with you no more and he is signing the divorce paper and it's over. Glory to God, the doctors say they can't help you. Hallelujah, you, you broke, busted, and can't be trusted. Glory to God, knocked on every door and nothing open. Then you need a miracle. There's some of you in here, 50 of you, someone tuning in right now, getting ready to get a supernatural breakthrough. Hallelujah, the God of the breakthrough is in this place today. I don't care where you are tonight. Hallelujah, he is... So once I don't get that breakthrough, once I don't get that miracle, because that's what's going to happen for some of you, who believe they're going to get a financial breakthrough? I'm talking about crazy, bust open crazy. Who so how I'm going to get this miracle? How I'm going to maintain it? How I'm going to keep it? He says, if you go back, what's thing going to happen to you? He says, when the stronger man come in, hold the strong man captive. Take him out of the house. The house is swept clean. If that demon who came out come back to that house and there's no word in that house, he comes back he brings seven more demons worse than himself. And the last state of the man will be worse than the first. He said, if you go back, a worse thing. I told y'all years ago when I started vomiting, I gone back, Martha, and I start drinking again, only for but a month. Yeah, and I start off with that 2%. Glory to God. I say, I say, I say, oh, there's only 2% on this. I started to take a little drink. You know, they, you know what they had then? They had the, what kind of drink that was? Bacardi Breezer. Only 2%. They don't sell that no more. They still sell Bacardi Breezer? Huh? I don't know. That's the first thing. Ain't no one want to expose themselves. It's only 2%. I took the two, then the next two lead to another two, and two and two is four, and then the next go two, two, six, then the next eight percent. Hallelujah, when it was all over, my head was spinning. Then I got the whole big bottle of Rhine wine. I started drinking that. And if that wasn't enough, I started drinking something even more heavier. Then I got a, 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 a pack of a Rotman cigarette. Glory to God, and I smoked that. And then I snuck some cocaine. Glory to God, hallelujah. By 8 o'clock that night, I was bust up. Hallelujah, found myself in the bathroom and started vomiting and everything coming up out of me. I see blood coming up and then the voice of the Lord spoke to me an audible voice he said if you go back I'll kill you you think I'm praising God for you you think I'm preaching the way I'm preaching for you you think I'm doing what I'm doing for you I'm running for my life and if anybody asks you what the matter with me I got a hit on my life Tell your neighbor, say, you can't do what your sister do. You can't do what your brother do. You got a hit on you. To whom much is given, much is required.
what some preachers can get away with I can't get away with glory to God they can sweet out and still get away they can teeth and still get away they can sissy around and still get away if I do it I'm gonna get catch I'm gonna get embarrassed he gonna beat me bad but I came by to tell somebody I'm not going back on it because the worst thing I got something you got to hold on you got to hold on to your miracle like a bulldog kingdom of heaven suffer with violence to violate take it it means to sneeze to seize upon it and to hold it by force hold it I'm letting this go okay quickly how do I hold this miracle let's go quickly stay with the one who delivered you when you know <laughs> that you wouldn't have been where you are today but was it for the grace of God you better hold on to your savior I didn't say hold on to the preacher. I didn't say hold on to the praise director. I didn't say hold on to the usher. I come on, hold on to Jesus. You want to call him Yeshua? Call him Yeshua. You can call him Emmanuel. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But however you want to call him, however he show himself to you and deliver you, you better hold on to him. Hold on. Him say, I don't know him. But that same man right there tell me, take up my bed and walk. In another instance, when the man uh, 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 received his sight, he started following Jesus. Jesus said, no, no, go back, tell your family. Go share the testimony. Glory to God. You got to hold on to him. You got to hold on to Jesus when mama and daddy forsake you. You got to hold on to Jesus when I'm so flesh fail. You got to hold on to Jesus when trouble is all around you and the world is falling apart. Hold on to him. Hallelujah. Boy, I love this midday. I can shout and run and dance. Glory to God. Y'all Sundays have me in bondage, man. All right, let's go. Let's go. Give me the next slide. Stay in faith. The same faith that got you, got you your breakthrough, you have to stay in faith. And the problem with a whole lot of you, glory to God, you lose your miracle because you don't stay in faith. The same faith that caused you to get the breakthrough, that's the faith you got to hold on to. When trouble hits your life, hold on to your faith. When your money acting funny, hold on to your faith. When that body start to rock again with pain, hold on to your faith. He respond to faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. If any man come to God, he must believe that God is and that God is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him while you throw in your oil and water, throw it in faith. While you walk into the bank, walk in faith. Whilst you're going back to the doctor, go back in faith. Whilst you're wearing your mask, wear your mask in faith. Glory to God, hallelujah. Whilst you're watching the news, watch it in faith. Don't let no devil, demon, nor imp get you out of faith. See that same man right there? Tell me, take up my bed. And he's walking. Come on now. With, with his bed. Jesus say, pick it up and walk, boy. And he's walking with his miracle. He's, he's carrying the thing that once carried him. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I thought y'all was going to get it. He's carrying the thing that once carried him. Can I say this to about a hundred of you in here and those who tune in? You are about to flip the, 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 the strip. It's about to flip. You ain't hear what I just said. The script is about to flip. The thing that overpowered you, you are about to overpower it. I... The thing that tormented you, you are about to torment it. Do I have somebody? Mary, there's another story. Uh, uh, Peter and John is going into, hallelujah, the temple of God. Hallelujah. And they meet a man lean and he's begging. Hallelujah. Peter says, silver and gold, we don't have. But as such, my God, I give to you in the name of Jesus. 
rise up and walk. The Bible said his bones begin to give strength, get strength. He jumped up, glory to God, and started walking. He got into the house of God. And the Bible said he started leaping and started jumping, started leaping, walking and leaping, praising God. Let me say something to you. When God give you a miracle, don't let that devil take your praise. Hallelujah. Some of you get deep and you get dignified. Glory to God. You come into the midday, you shout, you flip, whatever the man of God tell you to do, you do it. And then when you get your breakthrough, you come to church and now you're dignified. You don't want to praise God. You're saying it don't take all of that. Well, if it took all of that to get you the miracle, it's going to take all of that to cost you to keep it. I'll yet praise him for the help. Please touch the person who's sitting next to you and tell them, say, if you praise God right now, the door will open for you. If you praise God right now, the breakthrough will come to your house. If you praise God right now, he'll turn it around for you. Somebody pray. Somebody just lay hands on somebody to get their deliverance. I tell you right now to shake your neighbor. Shake them. Rock them. And say, God, get it ready to give you a breakthrough. If you put on the garment of praise, he'll deliver you. He'll set you free. Here it is, Sean. Jacob is talking to his sons. He's getting ready to leave the scene. And then Judah came to him. And he said to Judah, he said, Judah, this is your word. He said, your name is Judah, which means praise. He said, your hand will be in the neck of your enemy. He said, whenever you praise, whenever you show up, Judah, you will choke the life out of your enemy. Oh, bless his name. I don't know who I came to talk to, but I need somebody to open your mouth and praise him. If you praise him, he'll choke the life out of poverty. He'll choke the life out of cancer. He'll choke the life out of COVID. He'll choke the life out of that disease that's in your body. Somebody. Praise is so awesome. Paul and Silas, they're thrown in prison. And the Bible said, glory to God, hallelujah. They're thrown in prison and at midnight, Paul began to sing hymns. Hallelujah, glory to God, while Silas pray. And then they shift and then the next one pray and the next one prays. Then they shift again and the next one prays and the next one pray. And then at midnight, there was a rumbling. Let me tell you why you're going through what you're going through. It's a shaking. God said, I heard your prayer. I seen your tears. There's a rumbling. And at midnight, midnight speaks of one season. It, it, the close of one to the opening of another. Midnight means that one day is over and you're going into another day. I dare you I'm going to come to three. And I say to you today, hallelujah, your midnight is here. One, two, three, praise him. You better come get me. Hey! Hey! That season is about to over. Shout glory. This is too much. I hear a rumbling. I feel a shaking. Yes! Okay, you gotta keep the praise. The, 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 the second, the third, the fourth thing. Stay with up your heart. I should have closed on praise because that would have been a good place to shout. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know we're going to mess you up? When God gives you a miracle, you allow your heart to take on stuff that can cost you to open the door for that same thing that God delivered you from to come back in. Unforgiveness, bitterness, strife, jealousy the Bible said blessed are the y'all didn't know it blessed are the pure in heart here it is for they shall see God 
You want the manifestation of God in, in your life? Stay pure in heart. Lord, create in me a clean heart. Renew. Okay, so if I'm going to get my miracle, I'm about to close. If I'm about to get my miracle I, and hold on to my miracle, I have to stay with a pure This is the best meal anybody take given today. Stop holding on to people. Let them go. You're being hurt too long. Free yourself up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A broken heart can kill you before time. A healed heart can keep you living long. Don't give any one person or any person that much power over your life that you can't move forward because of what they did to you or what they said about you. May the Lord watch between. Be healed. Jay, we're about to close. Give me the fifth one. They want their oil and water now. They're ready to go home. Those people in, the, in their house now shouting and flipping and dancing. Glory to God. Who believe in God for a miracle? It's going to happen. My concern is not that whether or not God going to do it. I know he gonna do it my concern is when he does it my concern is whether or not you're gonna keep it because it's gonna happen Cecily you better believe that it's gonna happen whether it's gonna happen in your career what is going whether it's gonna happen in your body when it's gonna happen in your home when it's gonna happen in your ministry when it's gonna happen in this nation God's about to release his supernatural power miracle working power for his people my concern is whether or not you got, you have the ability to keep it It's not whether or not you're going to get the house. You're going to get the house. I want you to keep it. You're going to get the promotion. I want you to keep it. You're going to get healed. I want you to keep it. God going to visit your marriage. I just want you to keep it. God's going to heal your body. I just want you to... Okay. He says, he says, Jay, we're about to go. He says, he says, he says, don't go back to the thing I deliver you from. So if God break the stronghold of addiction of your life, don't go back to the thing that held you strong. If God hold or deliver you from sweetheart living, tell your neighbor, say, don't look this way. He ain't talking to me. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on now. If he deliver you from that homosexual lifestyle, hallelujah, don't you go back. Why? Because the worst thing will come upon you. Bye bye church, we got to go. We well over time. This is the word of knowledge for you today. Are you ready? Glory to God. This is what God said to tell you and he's releasing grace to you. Let's go to the next slide and this is where we go home. Glory to God. The word of the Lord for you is for some of you, God by his grace will burn up the bridge. Hallelujah, that you can cross again. Okay, let me say that one more time. For some of you in here, God, by his grace, is going to bind the bridge that you can't cross it again. Let me say it one more time. God's about to bind the bridge. Let me tell you why God has to bind it. Because God can't trust you. Hallelujah, glory to God to leave that bridge. Because you just may go back into that lifestyle. So God said, because I love you. Oh, bless his name. You know what I'm going to do? I myself, by my divine grace, is going to bind the bridges. You ain't going back in that relationship. You hey, we are out of time, but I we are not out of message. You all know that. Yes, that's our midday service. We just have to make sure that you get the word uh, to keep you going through the week. I'm telling you, these are trying times, but God is doing some awesome things in the life of his people. Yes, this is the season when miracles and supernatural things are going to happen for you because we are looking to the hills from whence cometh our help. 
Now, by the way of announcement, I will see you Saturday morning. Get the word out. I'll see you Saturday morning from the waters as we continue to pray, as we touch and agree all around the nations. Glory to God. Amen. Believe in God for your breakthrough. Believe in God for your deliverance. Prayer will change it as it change you. Yes, and Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Invite someone. Get in the house early because you know seats are limited. We've been doing some awesome things here at the waters. Amen. This pandemic really pushed us to another place in seeking God and also experiencing, hallelujah, the presence of the Lord among us. And he is also increasing the house. Guess what, y'all? We were able to put another couple dollars on our uh, youth center. The architect was able to get another couple dollars from us. Let's continue to give. We believe in God that we will be able to build this youth center in this pandemic for the glory of God and we'll do it debt free. Hallelujah. When it's all over, you will hear the testimony. It is the Lord's doing and it was marvelous in our eyes. God bless you. See you on Saturday morning at the waters and our time on Sunday in the presence of the Lord. Love you. Have a great night tonight. 